Now I am upset and who is the cause of my pain? You. The more the expectations, the more the pain. The more the acceptance, the more the happiness. Can our every thought and every word for our children be a blessing? Can it be a blessing? Suppose your child is not getting as many marks as you feel he should get. What can be a blessing for him and what can be the opposite of a blessing for him? What can be a blessing for a child who is not performing up to your expectations? What can be a blessing for them? Ah, so what will be the thought? Now what will be the thought? What should be our thoughts for them? Hanji? Yeah, so what will be my thought for the child to enhance his power? Yeah, so specify what will be the thought? What will be the thought? <laughs> now if I ask you to do better, what is my underlying message? You are not doing really better. Well. See, that's it. Now we have to look at this subtle. So if I say do better, which means right now, so I do not accept, I reject it. Higher thought, higher vibration, what can I say? You can do better, which means right now, you are not. Higher, higher than that, this is how we raise our thoughts. Higher than that? Higher than that? Well done. <laughs> I know you did your best. Very good. What else? Higher than that? It's okay. It's okay? <laughs> no. Then I'm saying it's okay. No. Blessing. What is a blessing? A blessing is a high frequency energy port. You've done extremely well. You were very, very, very good. And next time, you are going to raise your own capacity. That is 100% certain. We have full faith in you. So if the capacity is here, and this is not just in words, this is from here. Not from here, I will say, you are very good. And inside I will say, kya good. <laughs> so blessings don't come from here. Blessings have to come from here. <laughs> That my every thought firmly believes that my child has done best to their capacity. Not capacity of the world, their capacity. And I am radiating blessings which will increase their capacity and tomorrow they will do better than their own capacity. So we have the power that our every thought and word can be a blessing. White circle. Divine souls, radiating blessing to all. Opposite of that, opposite of that, what will happen? I really fear your future. I don't know what will happen. What will you do? Look at people around you, they are so good, you stand no chance with all these people. Now we say, I love my child, so I am worrying for him. Worrying is a depleter. Worrying is opposite of blessing and while I am worrying, I deplete myself, deplete the child and deplete everybody around me. And then after depleting everyone, I say, now do well. <laughs> now do well. So our role is to make everyone emotionally healthy. When they are emotionally healthy, they do better than their own capacity. And for which worrying is out. Anger is out, criticism is out, expectation is out, acceptance is in, acceptance is in, fitness is absolutely normal and natural. No holding here anything, even, even what happened today morning, forget what happened many days back. How often do we clean our house? How often do we clean our house? Daily. How often do we clean our body? 
How often do we clean our mind? <laughs> See, in your city, there is a very nice thing. When you enter the house, you keep your chapel outside. So what is the what is the meaning of it? That whatever was outside means outside. I don't take that into my house. So any dirt, anything which I picked up on the way does not enter the pure vibrations of my house. So similarly, whatever is here should be cleaned before we enter the house. Then we are entering the house emotionally healthy, emotionally clean and give that beautiful vibration to the children and they will become emotionally clean. But if I enter the house with he said this to me, she did this to me, nobody listens to me, then I have carried all the dirt of the day, all the infection of the day into the house. So the father is also carrying it into the house, the mother is also carrying it into the house and the children are getting it without doing anything. So, we cannot clean just before entering into the house. We will have to keep cleaning it throughout the day. Somebody said something, clean. Somebody did something, clean. And within a few days, we will get master the art of cleaning, within a few days it won't even get stained, so there will be no question of cleaning. Cleaning only happens after I get hurt, then I have to heal. After some time, I will not get hurt, so there is nothing to heal, because I start accepting people as they are. I understand they are going through their own thing. I understand different sanskars, so we will only bless them. So we enter the house, pure white circle. That is the biggest gift to family. And for that, I have to earn blessings throughout the day. So purpose of our life, purpose of our life, purpose of our life, my every thought, word, behavior, should be a high energy frequency. So I radiate high energy and I accumulate blessings. I want nothing from anyone. I don't need people to be my way. I don't need people to respect me. I respect myself. Situations and people's behavior have no connection with with her. They can be how they want to be. I will be what I choose to be. The world does not have to be perfect for me to be happy. The world will be what the world is. I choose to be happy. Anger, I don't know what it is that. Anger, I don't know what it is. I am a... I am a... Peaceful being, pure being, divine being. I accept each one as they are. And anything of the past which I am holding? Anything of the past which I am holding? Swaha. That is why we have the havan. Swaha, swaha, swaha. But what we do, we do swaha only of the ahuti which is in the plate. Shuddhi karan. Havan is for Shuddhi karan, meaning for purification. So purification will happen when I do swaha of everything that I build over here. So swaha, then mantra, then swaha, and in the end everything swaha. Purification. So every ritual was coming to purify the mind. And when the mind is pure, then the environment will be pure. So from today, we will become the diya of our house. Every house needs only one diya. One diya. Everybody else can stand in the diya hall. But one person in the house will have to be in the diya hall. So are you ready to be the diya of your house? Diya. And if the diya starts flickering, 
So we put the key of knowledge, Gyan, so that it starts coming back to its original flame, no flickering. They said this, they did this, they did. their sons come. I focus only on, I focus only on my sanskar, my karma. There is only one thing which will go with me. There is only one thing which will go with me. My sanskar, my karma. This little boy here on the first floor, he's in the seventh standard. And I just met him before the program and he said so sweetly, I used to watch your program on YouTube, no on TV. And on his own he tells me, one point I like most important. I said, what is that? When the soul will leave this body, it will go and enter another body and become a child. So the child also understands this. We all know this. And yet it is something which we don't take care of throughout the day. Focus is on everything outside. One instant and everything is left behind and this is carried here. Suppose we knew that tomorrow morning we have to leave. What would we do today evening? Why tomorrow morning also? Today, 10 o'clock. Two hours. What would we do today if I knew I had to leave in two hours? What would we do? What would we do in two hours? Very good. Pray. What else? What else? Two hours to leave. What will we do? Very important. Gratitude. Thank everyone. Very important. Three. What will we do? Two hours left. So you thank her, she forgives you also. <laughs> it's very, very, very important to forgive and release before the soul leaves. Now, I don't know when my time will come. So I will have to say thank you every day. Every day. I will have to forgive every day. I will have to ask for forgiveness every day. Which means I will have to keep this clean every day. And if I keep this clean every day, then my today is also happy. My tomorrow is also happy and if I change my costume and go into the next costume, the baby will be born and the Panditji will say, what a beautiful Janampatri I have created. What is the Janampatri? Is that okay? No? What is the soul carrying with sanskars and karma? So while we are writing this script today, each one of us is actually creating the Janapatri of that baby that is going to be born when I go from this body. So right now we are creating that destiny today, now, future, many, many lives. What power we have. What power we have. One way of living is to write what we want. And the other way of living is, why did this happen to me? Why my luck is not nice? Why other people are lucky? And we spoil our bhagya. So consciously, consciously keep writing what you want. Want to be happy? Choose to be happy. Want peace? Choose to be at peace. When to be at peace? When people are not nice to me. If people are nice to me and I am nice to them, very easy. Anybody can do it. If people are not nice to me, and then I am nice, I have increased my spiritual power. So when you are thanking people, thank people who are nice to you, and more than that, thank people who are not nice to you. Thank you for coming into my life. You helped me to reduce my ego and to increase my emotional health. If you wouldn't have come, my emotional health would have not increased. So gratitude for all those who are putting obstacles in my life. They are the exams of my life. If they don't come, I wouldn't even know where I stand. I wouldn't know where I stand. Early morning, let's keep half an hour to 45 minutes for our emotional health. 
and that's what we do at the Brahma Kumaris. Throughout the day, working, business, family, everything. But one hour in the morning, we come to the center. And what do we do in that one hour? Gyan, Gyan, knowledge taken from him. Second, Dhyan, meditation. First chapter, Gyan. First subject, Gyan. Second subject, Dhyan, meditation. And what is meditation? I, the soul, connecting to him. And when the battery gets connected to the powerhouse, battery starts charging. Then I don't need anything from anyone because I fill myself from there and I start giving to people. So first subject, Gyan, knowledge. Second subject, Dhyan, meditation. Third subject, Dharana. Dharana means inculcating those values in our life. And fourth subject, Seva, service, to give. To give who I am. So if I'm happy and I'm at peace, then I'm giving, giving, giving and giving to everybody. How many of you have not learned how to do meditation, ever come to the Brahma Kumari Center to do the meditation course, have not done it yet, have not come to the center. Oh, we must experiment once. Experiment. How to connect to Him, to charge ourselves, by which whatever is happening outside, we can choose what to create here, what to create here and what to create here. And when we choose our own karma, we are choosing our own destiny. When we are doing the right karma, we are writing a beautiful destiny. So from Sunday, this Sunday, we will keep a one week Raj Yoga meditation course at all the centers. When you got the invitation card, there were all the centers addresses on that. So two times in the day, so that we can choose whichever time suits us. One time would be 6.30 to 7.30 in the morning. And for the other batch, 6.30 to 7.30 in the evening. So from Sunday, either 6.30 to 7.30 in the morning or 6.30 to 7.30 in the evening. And in case both the times don't suit, just come to the center and sit with the sister and decide which day, which time. Sisters are always there to share with us how to do meditation. It's time to take care of our spiritual health and emotional health. That is our first responsibility to, towards our family and most, most important towards our children. We can give them food without eating. We can give them the best school without going to school. But we cannot give them emotional health without being emotionally healthy. A stressed parent cannot create happy children. The parent will have to be happy to create a happy child. So we have to do it for ourselves. So are you ready to take out half an hour for yourself? Ready to take out half an hour for yourself? And when we do that, it's the best gift we are giving our family. And when the parents start doing it, it becomes the culture in the house. And then the children also start doing it. If a parent is not doing it, you cannot tell the children to do it. But if the parents are doing it, then the vibrations are in the house and the children are doing it. How many of us begin the day with reading the newspaper? For one month, we do upwas of newspaper early morning. Read it a little bit later in the day. Early morning, first food for the mind has to be something very pure. It cannot be. It cannot be. It cannot be violence and aggression and fear and failure and corruption. The morning cannot begin on that. The morning has to be a very... How does the morning have to be? Very high energy, sattvic, divine. It's the beginning of the day. 
It's the time to charge and energize ourselves. Look at how the morning used to be in every house 20 years back. And today the morning, newspaper, news channel, cup of tea. Ah, what's happening? So you know when everything external is of a different quality, then how will this be? Just experiment and see. One month only. No reading, watching, listening to anything which is not pure Adhidmanik. And just before going to sleep. Early in the morning what we read, watch, listen affects the whole day. Just before going to sleep what we read, watch, listen affects the whole night. So half an hour in the morning, 10 minutes before going to sleep. And during the day, read, watch and listen about the world only what is necessary. Click, 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 consuming, 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 thinking, 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 battery depleted. And then copy paste forwarding. Deep karma. Let's not forward anything which will discharge the other battery also. Not good karma. Not good karma. Huh? That's why one message created somewhere circulates into the whole world. The one person created the karma of creating it, rest of us only circulated and create our karma. If we stop circulating, they will stop creating. Only if the product sells, people make it. If it doesn't sell, people will stop making it. So let's read Sattvic, let's watch Sattvic, let's listen Sattvic, let's eat Sattvic, let's drink Sattvic, circle will be white. Circle will be white. And when the circle is white, we will be energizing everybody who we meet. So when we learn this meditation from Sunday, then implementing this will become very, very simple and beautiful. Come sit back, let's prepare for it right now. We will sit in meditation now for a few minutes, preparing ourselves for how we will be tomorrow. And today, when we go home, we will be taking this vibration with us. I am Didi Koleka. When we finish our meditation, I will request you to come up on stage to take Prashad and a very sweet gift from our sisters and today we will go home in silence. So from now till the next 15-20 minutes till we go home we will be in silence. And if anyone is getting late and cannot wait for their turn to come on stage, they will go out and a divine being. Say it to yourself and feel the energy. I am a divine being. Every thought is clean, pure. 